Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and today I want to talk about the new ammo laws that are going to be taking effect this July 1st, 2019 in the state of California. And while these ammo laws directly affect California residents, they also affect those people looking to come to California for competition, training, and fun. So let's talk about it. This video is brought to you by MSRArms.com, quality and precision for the modern sporting rifle. Use them to complete your next build and save by using discount code TDS5 at checkout. Okay, so let me go ahead and start off the basics. Starting on July 1st, 2019, if you want to purchase ammunition here in the state of California, you're going to have to go through a background check. And trust me, I understand how completely ridiculous this is. I would not blame you if you are yelling at your TV, your computer, or your phone right now. California is out of control. Now, there are some lawsuits already trying to overturn this, and guaranteed there's going to be even more once it's implemented, because believe it or not, it's easier to fight these things after they're implemented than before. So you're definitely going to see more legal action being taken on this matter. Now, the California Department of Justice recently uh, initiated a vendor licensing system for anybody that wants to sell ammunition here in the state of California. And so it has even more oversight on these companies. Now, if these companies fail to comply with the law, they could face legal action, uh, they could lose their permit, and even potentially lose their business. And so that's what you're gonna see come July 1st. Now, let me go ahead and talk about some of the details. Now, when it comes to these uh, background checks, they're gonna be on every single transaction. And what I mean by that is, let's say you walk into Walmart and you wanna buy a box of 22. You buy your 22, you go through a background check, and then you're walking out of the store. You remember that you forgot to get a box of nine, so you go back to the counter. Yeah, believe it or not, you have to go back through another background check. Now, here's a little bit more info on how the background check is actually gonna work. If you walk up to a counter to purchase ammunition, it's gonna be a $1 fee, and then that person who is providing you the ammunition is gonna to have to run that background check on you. Now, California says that, that background check is gonna be fast, but try and keep in mind that when it comes to California, absolutely nothing is done proficiently. So guaranteed, there's gonna be delays, there's gonna be problems, the system's gonna be down, there's gonna be times when you go to the store and maybe you won't be able to purchase it because there's gonna be this massive overflow or influx of people who are gonna be going through this new system and it's gonna have problems. They're guaranteed it's gonna have problems. So your wait could be either long, short, or even potentially just the transaction's not gonna work. Now, the dollar is only if you are currently in the California DOJ system. So that means if you have a registered firearm in your name in California, if you want to purchase any firearm at all, it has to be registered from the FFL. So all firearms here from a specific date forward are registered. Now, if you've purchased firearms in the past before universal registration took place, then you're not going to be in that system. In that case, if you're not in the system, it's going to be an additional $19 and potentially a 10 day waiting period before you would actually be approved. So possibly 10 days before you would actually be able to uh, get your ammunition. So that is a problem. Now that's where the out of state people come into play. If you are coming over to the state of California and you're gonna be taking some training or you're gonna be doing a three gun competition or some other competition and you need a, you know, a specific amount of ammunition and you need to go buy it at the store, well, you're not going to be in the system in California, right? So you may have to wait over a week in order to get your ammunition and nobody's going to come a week or 10 days before their competition just to be able to have ammunition. Now that's where the other side of this new law takes place. And that's because right now you cannot import ammunition into the state of California. Nothing over 50 rounds is allowed to be brought back into the state of California, is not allowed to be imported into the state of California without a vendor license and so forth. The only way that you would actually do that is you could have ammunition that you've purchased out of state then delivered to a licensed vendor here in the state of California, and then you'd still have to go through a background check in order to get it, to actually acquire it. You can't just bring it in from out of state. So they've really tried to cover all of their bases here. Now, for those people, and I know they're gonna be in the comment section saying, well, I'll just drive to Nevada, I'll just drive to Arizona, I'll just drive to Oregon, whatever, and get it myself and just bring it back, and how will they ever know? Uh, yeah, you're right, how, how will they ever know? But at the same time, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but on the 15 freeway, if you're leaving Las Vegas and you're coming back into the state of California from Nevada, there are automotive checkpoints. There are vehicle checkpoints in the state of California. They're supposed to be for agricultural purposes, but there is nothing stopping them for other reasons. And if they feel that you might have something in the vehicle, then they might ask you to search it. My answer would be no, go ahead and get a warrant, and then you could search it once you actually get a warrant. 
But these vehicle checkpoints are, are there, and whether or not they're gonna be using them for other purposes than agriculture, agricultural purposes, I'm not sure. I've even heard rumors, and I'm not like a conspiracy guy, but I've heard rumors that there is going to be uh, law enforcement or somebody in place at certain retailers near border shops that are gonna be looking for California plates and they can simply just radio it forward if somebody's coming out with a big box or big bag or something like that and then start heading, you know, west. So again, those, you know, those are unconfirmed and, you know, don't quote me on that, but that's what I've, I've heard could potentially happen. So try and keep in mind that you can't bring ammunition out of state and then back in. You can't have ammunition and then bring it into state. This is all according to this new law. They're trying to cover everything so that if you want ammunition, you are forced to go through a vendor. Even person to person sales, if it's over a specific amount, it's going to be banned and subject to uh, penalties. So this is all really bad and, uh, bad and again, taking place on July 1st. Now, I personally feel that this directly infringes on the Second Amendment. I mean, without a doubt, in my mind, this is a direct infringement on the Second Amendment. Personally, I think any gun law is an infringement on the Second Amendment, but this is definitely an infringement that can't be overlooked. So I think that eventually it will be overturned. So here's what I suggest that you do. I suggest that regardless of what your budget is, you use that budget before July 1st to get whatever you can now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put more information on a specific deals and stuff that are available now because you can still buy in bulk and have it shipped to an FFL. So if you have a store that's near you that will accept it for you, like pretty much every store will, they might charge you a small fee. But if you can buy in bulk and then have that shipped to you or shipped to your FFL and just go pick it up from them before the background check system takes place, that's the way that I would go. I would go wherever you can, wherever you can buy as much as you can, whatever your budget allows. You know, don't put yourself in the poor house. Make sure your family can still eat and your dog has food. But uh, whatever your budget will allow you to do, go ahead and do it now. Do it beforehand because remember, all of this money that they're gonna be raising from this background check system thing is gonna probably be going to research, you know, gun violence prevention research and stuff like that. Places that are gonna even further infringe on our rights. They're just gonna use this money to support their causes. So this is no joke. Again, I'll put more information in the in the comment section where you can get like storage stuff and good deals and things like that so that you guys can go ahead and click that. I've done a lot of research on who has stuff at good prices right now. And so hopefully that'll help people out. But definitely if you don't have access to a place where you can go and buy it in bulk now, so somebody with a vendor license, definitely have it shipped to your FFL. It's just out of control. I don't want to see too many background checks be, you know, being forced on people before we have a chance to overturn this because I don't want them to have to raise money. I'd love to see this project fail altogether and then have it overturned. So yeah, I, I would just stock up with what you can now and see if you can ride this wave until we can uh, overturn it. So it's gonna take a little bit of an investment, but this is absolutely ridiculous. So uh, if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Make sure you discuss this amongst yourselves as well and kind of start a conversation about it. Anybody has any more information, you can go ahead and leave that down below. Again, this video just kind of covers the basics because I've already made previous videos where I went over it in complete detail. Anyway, thank you all very much. If you guys wanna support the channel, I do put links in the comments, or not in the comment section, but in the description box to where I sell vinyl decals, shirts, and other things like that to help keep this channel running. And I also have a Patreon. I also put daily deals and different deals over on Facebook with affiliate, affiliate links. And every time you click those links and you purchase something and help support the channel there as well. So even though YouTube has demonetized me, I'm still trying to keep things going so that we can make sure that we have a voice out there. And thank you all very much for the support. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day. This video is brought to you by MSRArms.com, quality and precision for the modern sporting rifle. Use them to complete your next build and save by using discount code TDS5 at checkout.